the queen's former right-hand woman, Angela Kelly, has been cut off by King Charles and kicked out of her grace and favor. Windsor Estate Home and her work mobile has been disconnected. My family, there is no loyalty in the royal family. And my family, Angela Kelly was someone who worked for the queen. My family. This is a woman who was difficult, very difficult, right before the wedding. When Prince Harry was calling her to ask about, you know, trying out the tiara, she became difficult, telling Harry, I'm too busy. Right before the wedding, my family, she was being difficult. And months later, we were told by carnival of so-called experts how Prince William allegedly, alongside Angela Kelly, did everything in their power to ensure Meghan could not access the crown jewels. My family, that is what we were told back then. My family, in Harry's memoir, he spoke about Angela Kelly. And my family today will talk about this woman and the woes that she is now facing in the royal family. My family, here is what Harry said in his memoir about what happened with Angela Kelly. My family, here is what happened. And I quote, There had been arguments in the back corridors of the palace about whether or not Meg could or should wear a veil. Not possible, some said. For a divorcee, a veil was thought to be out of the question. But the powers that be unexpectedly showed some flexibility on the subject. Next came the question of Atiara. My aunts asked if Meg would like to wear my mother's. We were both touched. Meg then spent hours and hours with her dress designer, getting the veil to match the tiara, giving it a similar scalloped edge. And shortly before the wedding, however, Granny reached out because the royal family found out the Spencers were about to give Megan the late Diana's tiara. So my family, the queen, called. She offered Megan access to her collection of tiaras. She even invited us to Buckingham Palace to try them on. Do come over. I remember her saying, Extra ordinary morning. We walked into Granny's private dressing room right next to a bedroom, a space I'd never been in. Along with Granny was a jewelry expert, an eminent historian who knew the lineage of each stone in the royal collection. Also present was Granny's dresser and confident, Angela Kelly. The woman we are talking about today. Five tiaras were arrayed on a table. And Granny directed Meg to try on each one before a full length mirror. I stood behind watching. One was all emeralds. One was aqua marines. Each was more stunning than the last. Each took my breath. I was not the only one. Granny said to Meg quite tenderly, Tiaras suit you. Meg melted. Thank you, ma'am. 
One of the five, however, stood out. Everyone agreed. It was beautiful. Seemingly made for Meg. Gary said, it will be placed in a safe, in a safe directly. And she looked forward to seeing it on Meg's head come the big day. Make sure, she added, that you practice putting it on with your hair dresser. It's tricky and you don't want to be doing it for the first time on the wedding day. We left the palace feeling awed, unloved and grateful. One week later, we contacted Angela Kelly. My family, one week later, we contacted Angela and asked her to please send us the chosen tiara so we could practice putting it on. We'd done research and we'd spoken to Kate about our own experience and we'd learned that Granny's warning was put on. The placing of the tiara was an intricate, elaborate process. It had to be first sewn to the veil. The Meg's hairdresser would need to fix it to a small plate in her hair. Complicated, time-consuming, we need at least one dress rehearsal. For some reason, my family, here is the part. For some reason, however, Angela did not respond to any of our messages. My family, remember, right before the wedding. Days before the wedding. Then you have someone who's supposed to be working for the royal family, being difficult, playing difficult with Harry and Meghan. Angela Kelly. These people somehow feel so entitled that they are a part of the royal family, that they are more royal family members than actual members of the royal family. My family, I recall how some leaks came out my family from palace staff that they were complaining that Prince Harry would not make them coffee anymore when he married Meghan. My family. And I remember, I recall saying that do you expect a man who just got married to leave his marital bed to leave his wife and come and make you coffee. You are the one who's supposed to work for the royal family. Not the other way around. You are the royal staff. You work for the royal family. You work for Harry, for the Queen, for Prince William. But yet, some staff members expect Harry to leave his bed. Come there and make them coffee. And they were angry at Meghan because Harry would not make them coffee anymore. That is what pissed them off. A man who just got married enjoying his honeymoon somehow you expect him to come and make you coffee. You can't make this stuff up my family. Uh, but anyway, that's what the staff, William staff, believed Prince Harry should do. Because my family, when Harry and Meghan got married, they were under Prince William's office. And clearly the staff who have been causing so much problems to Meghan, insulting Meghan, work for Prince William. Many of them, without a shadow of a doubt my family, and they feel like they are more members of the royal family than actual members of the royal family. You know, if I worked 
let's say, in the royal household, my family. Sadly, for someone like me, as a black man, we are told that you can only be hired for a servant's position. Office roles, no, no. But my family, theoretically speaking, if I worked for the royal family and a prince, after speaking to his grandmother, the queen, who said, you can have the tiara. I'd give you the tiara because the queen told me that, hey, look, give them to rehearse, put it on right before the wedding to practice putting on the tiara. The queen's orders. But here, my family, we are having one other example of staff in the royal family basically not following the queen's orders. We are having staff not following the queen's orders exactly as Harry said. There are people, little courtiers, who are not following the queen's directions. Because clearly, when the queen became much older, someone else was running the show. King Charles. Charles and clearly Prince William. Because my family, we were told by the carnival or so-called experts that William allegedly conspired with Angela Kelly to deny Meghan access to the tiara collection, the royal family's jewelry collection. My family. And my family, the only way this person feels so, so emboldened to do what she did, making it so difficult for Harry and Meghan days before the wedding is if another senior member of the royal family would ask him, would ask her, sorry, to make it difficult for Harry and Meghan to access the tiara collection, the jewelry collection, my family, belonging to the queen. And the only person whom we have been told by the carnival of so-called experts was behind those problems was one person, Prince William. It can't be King Charles because my family, King Charles clearly is kicking this woman out right now of the Windsor estate home from what we are being told by family right now. So clearly, the person Angela Kelly was doing a favor for was for Prince William, whom we have been told by Harry was being very, very difficult. He and Kate right before Harry and Meghan's wedding. And even after, my family. Now my family, it's high time that some people understand. Staff in the royal family understand. Hey, look, you are not members of the royal family. You are not, you know, royalty. Let me just say that. My family, they must understand that. And understand they have a job to do. Not be difficult towards Harry and Meghan like how they have been. Clearly with orders from Prince William and even Charles. Now my family... As I continue my family, here is what was also said by Prince Harry in his memoir, and I quote, For some reason, however, Angela did not respond to any of our messages. We kept trying, no response. When we finally reached her, she said that the tiara would require an orderly and a police escort to leave the palace. My family, these people act like they are more members of the royal family than actual members of the royal family. Now Harry said, as I continue my family, in his memoir, that sounded a bit much. But all right, I said, if that's protocol, let's find an orderly and a police officer. 
and get the ball rolling. Time was running out. Inexplicably, she replied, can't be done. You know, my family, once again here, we are having Prince Harry saying, okay, we'll do it your way. And then she has a problem with that. My family, she says, can't be done. Harry asks, why can't it? Her schedule was too busy. <laughs> My family, they caused Harry and Meghan so much problems right before the wedding. My family, Harry says, and I quote, she, Angela Kelly, was being obstructive. Obviously, but for what reason? Why? We could not even hazard a guess. I considered going to Granny, but that would probably mean sparking an all-out confrontation. And I was not quite sure with whom Granny would side. Also, to my mind, Angela was a troublemaker. And I did not need her as an enemy. Above all, she was still in possession of that tiara. She held all the cards. My family, from what Prince Harry said in his memoir about the tiara, my family, as you've heard from what I have just said, by reading Harry's memoir, we learn of how some members of staff, really, were being so difficult towards Prince Harry. And Harry is even, you know, saying, I do not need this woman as an enemy. There are people who are so, so powerful. And why is that? Because of what they can leak to the media, to the tabloids, and also because of how the closeness to the queen. At the time, Angela was one such person. One one close to the queen, my family. And no wonder my family, even in response to what is happening right now, one person called Peter Hunt, in response to this story about, you know, King Charles removing Evicting once again Angela Kelly from her grace and favor Windsor estate home. Peter Hunt said that Charles may come to regret at leisure. Why is that? Why would even King Charles come to regret such a move, my family? Because of one thing. These people know about these royal stories. You'll have the press, publishers of books, approaching Angela Kelly for stories about what happened in the royal family. That's why. And one thing about the royal family is that they don't like that, those things which they cannot control. My family. And one thing they hate is seeing even staff writing books about them. Like what happened with this carnival or so-called expert. This person was the former butler of Diana, this Paul Burrell, my family. We heard from Harry's memoir even that this guy had written a tell-all which told nothing. My family and Harry tells us of how, you know, the royal family were pissed off about what he was doing. Same thing with Angela Kelly. That's what she can do. No wonder even Peter Hunt, someone who was a former BBC correspondent on role issues, said that Charles may come to the great athleisure doing this, kicking out Angela Kelly from a Windsor estate home. My family, even people are saying, I smell a tell-all 
book deal. You know, someone even said that. She probably already has it written. My family, even someone on the comment section under Peter Han Street is saying the same thing. My family. And my family, allow me to read you more about this story, my family, please, my family, because I haven't delved deep into this story, my family. So Angela Kelly, Queen Elizabeth's former right-hand woman, had been cut off by the king and booted out of her grace and favor home in the shadow of Windsor Castle. Miss Kelly, the late queen's dresser and confident for more than 20 years, is being forced out, forced to move out from a Berkshire house she has confirmed. From a Berkshire house she has confirmed, my family. This woman has been around the queen for all of these years and she can say things. She has information, stories. My family, even Prince Harry himself did not want this woman as an enemy. That tells you something about Angela Kelly. She's someone who has so much royal debt that she can leak to cause huge reputation Additional damage to the monarchy. And Angela Kelly knows that. My family, no wonder people are saying that Charles may come to regret at leisure pulling off this move. My family, so for Angela Kelly, not only is she having to vacate the modest semi-detached cottage on the Windsor estate, she revealed that her work issue mobile phone has been cut off. Her work issue mobile phone has been cut off. What a way to kick out someone you don't want, you know, around you. My family, she was difficult to make and believing the royal family will be so loyal to her. Well, she's learning the hard way <laughs> in the royal family. There is no such thing as loyalty that's what she is learning my family and my family here is what is also being said as she prepared for a new life in the peak district 180 miles away from windsor she was unusually candid this week on our instagram account miss kelly posted a picture of her garden telling friends, getting ready to say goodbye. I am moving at last to my new home, which I will be able to call my home at last. And my family, it tells you of just how she feels, my family. It tells you of how she feels, my family. And my family, friends of fiery Miss Kelly, the Liverpool Docker's daughter, who became the Queen's closest AD, feel she has been treated badly after such loyal and devoted service <laughs> and say she has become one other victim of the king's property merry-go-round. That's what she is saying, my family. This woman was loyal to Prince William. My family, because we have been told it's William who reached out to her. My family, asking her to be difficult. To deny Meghan access to the jewelry collection, my family. To the jewelry collection right before the wedding and my family Angela Kelly must have forgotten that it is not William who was going to be the next king at least not yet it's Charles who is the next king and it's he who should be basically doing everything in your power to please 
So my family, someone getting kicked out like this, my family, is someone who clearly must have done something to piss off Charles, my family. Now, my family, as I continue my family, Miss Kelly said that the Queen's funeral at the time was a very sad day for her. That's what she said at the time. And many in those circles expected she would be granted accommodation for life. <laughs> That's what she thought. <laughs> My family, some people should understand, you know, who you are and where your place is. If you're a member of the staff, you should not act like you are more of a member of the royal family rather than actual staff. That's the problem here that I see my family. And my family, I'll never forget how difficult this woman was towards Meghan Markle. She was cruel towards Meghan. And now she's been told she will soon have to move out. My family, that's what she has been told. You know? My family. Things are not going well for Angela Kelly. Things are not going well for her. It's karma for all of those who have caused pain to Megan. All of them. Karma is going right back at them. My family. And my family. Tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I'd like to hear your opinion on this, please, my family. And my family, I'd also like to read some comments on this story from members of the squad who have made some comments about, you know, this matter, my family. Now, my family, someone on Twitter said that the woman who did not want to give Megan a tiara fitting for a wedding is booted out of her grace and favor home. In castle grounds. Serves herself right. My family. Charles clearly. Does not respect. His mother's wishes one bit. My family. We knew that. When he. And the mistress. Trashed the queen consort title. My family. And now they want Camilla to be called queen. Not queen consort. My family. That's what will happen my family sadly charles has no respect for his late mother one bit now, my family someone said that she is not a helpless old woman she was prideful to make her hurry and clearly felt emboldened by her position she loved plotting with william to not allow megan to borrow jewelry like the other royal women were allowed to. She is not classy. Exactly as I have just said my family. My family, someone said that I don't like that woman. But she served Charles' mom well. And should be rewarded for her service. But those royals are not loyal. <laughs> someone said that karma. Indeed karma. For being cruel towards Megan. She forgot she was just a servant. Exactly what I've been saying. Exactly what I've said, my family. Some people think that there are more members of the royal family than actual members of the royal family. My family. Someone said that she is writing a book about her experiences as Queen Elizabeth's, you know, chamber maid. She claims Elizabeth gave her the blessing to do so. My family. Someone <laughs> said that, my family. Maybe William can give her some of his secret hush money. Someone said that, my family. 
and my family please tell me your thoughts about this my family you know people are calling it karma megan is having the last laugh our haters are singing one after the other while megan thrive thrive with the family just yesterday megan signed with william morrison endeavor w m e my family with a picture of that my family someone said someone said that i see camilla all over this the problem for them is that this woman knows so much if she says she's talking they are finished but i'm ready i have popcorns to last me a lifetime someone said that my family My family, tell me what you think about this, my family. I think I've read enough comments, my family. I like to hear your opinion. There is no loyalty in the royal family. No loyalty in the royal family, you know, one bit. My family, tell me your thoughts about this kindly. I like to hear your opinion. May God bless Harry, Megan, Artie, Lipetana, and Doria Raglan. My family, while the haters who have been so difficult and cruel to Harry and Meghan are falling, Prince Harry and Meghan, on the other hand, keep on thriving. And my family, may God bless them immensely. My family, please tell me your thoughts about this, Kelly. i like to hear your opinion on Angela Kelly being kicked out by King Charles from a Windsor estate home. My family, in this world, do good to everyone around you. Do good to everyone around you. If you are cruel and evil, it will come right back to you. Let me just say that my family. And my family, the evil that Angela Kelly, you know, showed to her and Megan is coming back to her right now. My family, stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana, and may they continue thriving and being happy each and every single day of their lives. My family, no weapon for against Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana, and Doria Chavospa. Stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.